This video will show you how to cover a book with plastic in our processing stage. So what you're going to need is the tape that looks like this. You'll need seven strips of this. I use this as a tool to crease the plastic and then a scissors to cut the size of the paper that we need on the roll here. So take the book cover off and set the book aside. Stretch it out and flatten it out so that it is one long piece. Make sure you leave a little room on the edge, not a lot. And then you take your scissors and you cut with a little bit of edge here as well. You take this and you put it so that the opening is facing you. So you can open it up like this. You take the book cover and you put it so that it is right side up in front of you. You open the top plastic and insert the cover, working to get the top of the book cover so that no white is showing underneath. All right, and this is a tricky part sometimes. So do the best you can, smooth it out, and then you flip it over. The opening is still facing towards you, and this is where the present part kind of comes in. You take it and you fold it up using your creaser, and you crease the plastic so that it is up to the bottom of the book cover. So you can flip it over to look to see there's no white showing on the bottom of that as well. And then you take three pieces of your tape and you do one piece of tape on the left side, one on the center, and one on the right. Kind of spaced out. So you probably can't really see it, but there's one here, there's one here, and there's one here. Just kind of center left, right. Then you take the book, make sure that the words are right side up and that the cover is right side up. And you place it and the spine will kind of form naturally. So you, you put it like this, you open the front flap and you bend over and line up so that there's no part of the book itself showing. And I always try to make it tight against here so it, and then I smooth it out and I do the same for the back like this. And I smooth it out and then I use the other four pieces. I put one on the bottom of the back, one on the top, of the back, one on the top of the front, and one on the top on the back. And it doesn't matter what order you put that tape in, and that's how you cover a book.